One of the features we have built into our machine is ease of operation and low maintenance. As a result of listening to farmers over the years, we have inserted many of those features in this machine. One of the nice things I mentioned already is changing the depth and the packing pressure on the go from the tractor cab. No need to get out, no toolbox, no time wasting. When you need to plant, the last thing you want to do is to get your toolbox and spend half the day or a full day on non-productive work. If you've got 500 acres to do and you've got a slightly different variety or because of change conditions with weather patterns or whatever, it's easy to change the planting depth and you don't need a toolbox and you don't need to spend half a day. It doesn't add to the monetary value of the product, it's just wasted time. So we cut that out. You can do it from the tractor cab on the go. Another feature we have built in, for example, is on the ground engaging bearings. We give a three-year warranty. That applies to the press wheels, the discs and the muffler wheels. We are so confident in our build that we believe that the three-year warranty is not a problem. In fact, I'm suggesting it will last for five or six or seven years. Many people have had experiences with disc machines in the past would find that difficult to believe. Grease nipples. Farmers don't like grease nipples. Once again, we've gotten rid of them. You don't need to spend all day greasing. On a 50-foot machine, for example, on a single-fold machine, we've got about 12 grease nipples on the whole machine, which you need to do three times a year. Some disc machines, in fact, some time machines, they've got hundreds of grease nipples for the same width. What I'm saying is cut out the maintenance. Keep it simple. Don't waste time. We've made the machine easy to maintain and easy to operate. However, farmers can still do a hell of a lot to make sure they get long life and maintain the quality and the operation of the planter. I like the way Scotty Roberts gets his machine ready to store at the end of harvest. This is what he had to say. Well, no, at the end of the season, what we've been doing is releasing these um, springs and um, the scraper shafts. You'll find that they will uh, get a bit of uh, dirt or sand in here um, in these sleeves. So we've taken the spring pressure off and squirt them all out with CRC so you can get that movement so they will snap back onto the disc and they're not sitting in the shed all year and getting, um, getting condensation in around these sleeves because if they get the condensation in there, it's a reasonable job to free them up. Just releasing these springs was only you know, an hour's work, just to release the, the springs and a bit of CRC and make sure they're moving up and down. It's just a part of the cleaning the machine down. We went right through and, and um, cleaned it with a, with a pre-cleaner uh, and then um, you know, made sure that we went through and greased everything afterwards, uh, got all the dirt and uh, straw and stuff off of it, um, and now put it back in the shed here until next season. And I suppose another bloody good thing about it is I don't have to change points. Even using the uh, Fabcast points on the other one, I still had to change points during the season. I don't have to worry about downtime on points. Jump on this. Well, we've done three seasons. I reckon there's another four, five, six seasons in it before I have to worry about wear. So that's that's a big plus. You might be paying a bit more up front to buy the machine, but uh, your running costs are, are well down. We adjust them, just go along and check for any looseness and adjust them probably once during the season and once at the end. You don't have to do a hell of a lot of maintenance, which is the, the main thing, so. Reasonably maintenance free, you'd, you'd call them. So with a three year warranty on bearings, we only have to go over the bearings once a year really in the shed. And although I went over both my original two machines, and I think we changed one bearing, so you've got to be happy with that with the amount of moving parts on the machine. So yeah, maintenance free. During the days, you're hardly doing anything. The odd scraper change, press wheel, which is not an issue at all. It's very simple to, to change those over. So it's a the ease of use and maintenance free is the major benefit for a big operation. The scraper system on the machine works very well. There are, it's very good for our conditions. When it's too wet, we have them tight. And uh, when, when it just dries out, later on in the season, we uh, 
drop them back so we don't wear our discs out so quickly. But very easy to change, so five minute job and it's all done. So even if you had to change them from day to night, it's uh, not a big deal. That's one of the major benefits of it because we're a big operation, I have to have casual staff. I'm not ever driving the machine myself, so I have to have a machine that's relatively simple but still does a precision sort of job. So we can't be out there fixing everything all day long, so it needs to last, last with the casual staff. As far as the uh, maintenance and the machine, its performance of the machine itself, it's held up really well. I've done two seasons with it now. Half our cropping program is reasonably stony with limestone. Maintenance wise has been not zero, but it's been right down there. Nothing that you can't fix out in the paddock. Price wise, it's at the upper end of the scale, but I think in our country, I'm looking at a long term solution purchase and I really think it's going to see out in the long run. I think it's going to be low operating costs in uh, my situation. No problems really, no. Uh, a few little teething things, but, but nothing that we weren't happy with. It's a very carefree machine, very easy to operate. After the 10 or 20 hours, we went over it and tightened a few things up as was recommended and we didn't really have any big troubles to speak of. I think the depth control and the fact you don't have to get out to adjust the depth, you can adjust your press wheel pressure and your sewing depth individually from the cab, that was a big plus for us. And not a lot of grease nipples, there's only a couple of grease nipples on your pivots and grease nipples on your main wheels. That was a big plus for us, like there's nothing worse than if the machine's got a lot of grease nipples trying to grease in the middle of winter when it's cold and the grease doesn't flow, it's just a, it's just a headache. So that was a big plus for us. Um, just because there's only two of us, like we saved the whole crop just with the two of us, we don't employ anyone. So we didn't really have time to be stopping and, and doing too much maintenance. We're happy to do maintenance off season, but just not, not while we're sowing. We're just not in the business of stopping and fixing or maintaining things through sowing. We just wanted something we could go in with and sow and get the job done and move on to the next one. The, yeah, the maintenance with bearings. Yeah. And I think the, and a big selling point was that um, there was a three year warranty on the bearings. And, you know, with that sort of warranty and that was what sort of gave us confidence in going ahead with it because the old Colty trash was the last thing we've used with discs. Gee, you know, those disc journals and stuff, gee, that was just high maintenance and that was the main worry. Um, nothing, no, no bearing foes at all through the whole season.